God, the girls on TikTok say this is where you find your husband. You get everything you need just by being. In my situation, like I cannot do nothing but thank God. Okay, so what had happened was I originally had oil heat, which is basically a bunch of oil would go inside of this tank and that will be heated up to heat the entirety of the house. But because it's really expensive to fill this up, I actually filled this up about 10 weeks ago for $800 and the oil ran out already. We decided to switch over and convert to a furnace. So that's what all of this stuff is here the old furnace that we had this is like all the mess that was made in the basement these are all the scraps from like pipes and stuff like that that they had to change on top of that some of the plumbing had to be changed as well so this was a brand new pipe that was installed i also got a new toilet unbeknownst to me before the toilet wasn't secured and the plumbing wasn't secured so as i was flushing the toilet like things were draining right down here into the basement luckily we caught that because that would have been like a very nasty disaster but the guys that have been doing all this work um they've been picking up down here a little bit but unfortunately they don't clean up in the house which is not a big problem to me because i'm very grateful that they do all the work and then i just go in and i clean up behind them so like this is more scraps from things that have been going on upstairs more pipes and stuff apparently these are extremely valuable because they can be melted down and then the metal can be used for different projects so I still have a bunch of mess that's down here that I will not be cleaning up, but I had to go upstairs and clean up. These are the old radiators and the old toilet that I had. Now I just have regular vents in every room. And this was the brand of the toilet that we got. And all of that is already put in. So those radiators are worth anywhere between 50 to hundred dollars. So somebody comes into your house and they take out an old system and replace your new system, don't be uh, reluctant to ask to hold on to your radiators because you can bring them to a scrapyard, metal's up right now. And as you can see, we probably have at least six to nine radiators. You could fetch anywhere between 500 to 900 bucks. Mm -hmm. So what we're looking at right now is your electrical panel box. Okay. Um, these should be labeled because you've got a two family. This one says one on it. You can mm -hmm. see you're kind of faint. There's actual two on here with a marker. We'll, we'll make that more prominent a little later. Oh, you can see it. But as we open this electrical panel box, I don't know if you can see, all these panels are going in one direction except for one. You can see a little red window. This? That one. So what are you going to do with that one? Switch it. Yep, flick it that way. Now flick it back on. Now let's go upstairs and see if that rectified our light situation. Okay. So what was happening was these two lights were not coming on, but now the light is on. My dad said he plugged something in that kind of messed up the power. So now we got a ceiling fan on, but we want the actual light fixture to go. Okay, what had happened was I went up there and I tried to pull something. And that's what it the piece came out so this is for the light and there's something up there No, I don't think it was connected the right way. Yeah, it wasn't connected like that. Yeah, that's what it was on. It was just connected to that. So when I pulled it, it had... This is exactly what we need to try to clean our stove. Oh. Uh -huh.
For that one in the back? Yeah, so here's the extra one. The gas comes out of these, mm -hmm. and there's an igniter. But you see the small little hole in here? Yeah. Sometimes over time, that gets filled with cooking grease. Mm -hmm. And if that gets filled too much with cooking grease, it won't allow the gas to go through there and create the ignition that we need for the flame. Oh, okay. So what I'm doing is just trying to... Get the old grease out. Correct. Create a pathway for that gas to be able to flow. So what was happening there was cooked up oil. And that cooked up oil was blocking each one of those holes. So we had to take something sharp and poke it in those holes to try to release some of that, that cooked on oil. Mm -hmm. and once we did that, now the gas is able to travel through that. Mm -hmm. Now it ignites. Okay, All good. Right. Thank you. I have no idea what we actually need from Home Depot, but I just came because my car is in the shop, so if I don't come outside <laughs> with my dad, then I won't be able to come outside at all. So, that's what we're doing. Mm -hmm. Sheet rock screws. Or drywall screws. And you said one and three eighths? Yep, so once you have the screw identified, that? now you gotta identify the right length. That, yep. one and three eighths. So how many you need? One box. <laughs> so now, because we replaced your boiler, mm -hmm. there was an exhaust that led to a chimney. Mm -hmm. That has to be filled, because we don't want carbon dioxide to get, or carbon monoxide, I'm sorry, to get released into your basement. So what do you fill it with? Bricks and mortar. Oh. Oh, brick and mortar. There you go. <laughs> Maybe that's why they call the show Brick and Morty. Yeah. Play on that. And the girls on TikTok say this is where you find your husband. Yeah, you want a man that knows, knows what he's doing. <laughs> Yeah, they pour this stuff down, resurfacing, they pour stuff on, you put oh, that yeah. down before you put your tile and everything down. My dad used to work at Home Depot once upon a time, so usually he knows where to find everything in here. And even if he didn't work here, I'm pretty sure he would still know where to find everything because he ends up here like 17 times a day, every single day. That is a <laughs> Smell like they smoking in the store. <laughs> Oh yeah, I be forgetting about those. Okay. Grease monkey. Sounds offensive. Yeah. Oh, you go this way. If, if the I've, I think no. I actually maybe it was Lowe's. Do they sell Christmas trees here? Yeah, they sell Christmas trees at Home Depot. Yeah, I think I came here before to get a tree. What you really need to be getting is a garbage can. Oh yeah, for outside. They they're that expensive? Yeah. Why? And they tear up. You know some twenty dollars ones, forty dollars. Is it best to get like a good quality one or does it not really matter? Why? Cause the garbage men be tossing everything all over? For whatever reason, we got hybrid squirrels now. Our squirrels, like <laughs> New York, are half squirrel, half wolverine. <laughs> Look what they got in here. Hello, thank you. I've been like, maybe like two or three weeks Red Bull free. No Red Bull for the girl. I'm living like I'm in the trenches for real. But I'm not tripping. These noodles about to be fire. Watch. I'm about to put y'all on. Boom. Garlic powder. Boom. Italian seasoning. Boom. Cayenne pepper, look at that. Boom.
Watch my dad come in here and talk about, oh, that's a lot of salt. Blah, blah, boy. Dad, I don't have time to be hearing that. When I was in college, I used to eat noodles all the time. And so I started spicing it up. I could really make gourmet noodles. This is something slight. I could really go crazy, but right. I'm gonna keep it simple. Yeah, I got half, half. Are you recording that? Half. Yeah. Edited. No, I'll leave it. <laughs> you, mean, you want the real? Yeah. Hello? Yo? Yeah, I'm at the light right now. Find a leg person to see. Alright. Alright, bye. I got my Stanley cup. I'm a Stanley girl now. I don't think I'm ready for this workout because it's 5 o'clock. And if you know, you know the gym is always packed at 5 o'clock. And that's just really not my vibe. I'm a early morning type of girl. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm the sky to you. Your friends proud when they know that you fucking with me. I know all my real bitches feel this. I could be rambling and making no fucking sense at all. So, let me put the light back on. Definitely had a good workout. I got all the energy right now. Like, I feel like I'm really, really, really pumped up. I know I'm going to crash in a minute because my trainer don't notice and y'all don't notice. But I know that I haven't been to the gym in like a good two, three weeks. Yeah, something like that. I haven't been to the gym as consistently as I need to be. I know why. But that's neither here nor there. Uh, I gotta do better. I gotta do better. I wasn't doing bad, but I gotta do better, you know? So right now I'm about to go get me some chicken and rice. I don't know where I want to get food from, but I know like I need chicken and rice. Because chicken and rice after a good workout is mando. It just gives the vibe. I was thinking Chipotle, but Chipotle, I'm not really feeling that right now. I had Chipotle like earlier this week and it did not hit. One of my coworkers been telling me about this place, like this Spanish food place. I don't know where it's at and I don't know if I could like roll up in there and get food. I'm trying to like look at it right now. I don't know if I could roll up in there and get food or like do I have to call ahead and try to order. I'm going to take a second, pull up the menu, look up the menu, try to order my food and do what I got to do. Hopefully this food is good. This is my first time trying it. I know when I get to my mom's, everybody's gonna be like, dang, like you got food without us, blah, blah, blah. But I really don't feel like being bothered. Like I don't feel like going home and doing like the family thing. I feel like going home and being in my room by my lonesome. Oh, this little old man next to me. <laughs> but I feel like I'm um, going in my room and being by my lonesome. So I feel like it really shouldn't even matter that much. I'm tired of spending money on food though. So hopefully I could go back home home soon. So I don't have to do this. So let me just do what I gotta do. Let me do what I gotta do. I feel like I've been vlogging all day, but I haven't been talking to the camera. So I'm excited to talk to you guys. Hi, beautiful. What you got going on? What's tea, girl? Oh, my camera's about to die. Okay, love you. Gotta go. We at the spot ski. Hopefully everybody in here is cool. Hello, I just called um for the pickup order. Did you move the right? Yeah. 
Well, that was quick. That was super quick. Good morning. It is 9.33 a.m. I'm supposed to be, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing right now. What I want to do is just do a little morning meditation. So I'm about to find a five minute meditation on YouTube on my phone and we're going to do that together. And maybe that will give me some clarity as to what I should be doing right now because I just feel all over. So I want to ground myself a little bit, you know. Begin by centering your awareness on your body. Trust yourself and begin to gather your awareness. Bold and free. You get everything you need just by being. Her. <laughs> My back hurts. All right, I think what I'm gonna do today, I don't know. I still don't have any energy to do anything. What I think I need to do is go to my house. Obviously, I need to get dressed, and then I also need to make it to my office at some point. But the thing is, I don't want to get dressed and go to the office. Like, I don't want to. I don't want to get dressed. I might. I'm. I might not get dressed. I might not even like stress about the clothes or whatever. Maybe I could throw on some jeans real quick or something like that and then just go to the office. Because I feel like that's the thing that's holding me up is that I don't want to take the time to like do what I got to do to get dressed. So I think I'm just going to eliminate that. Not even worry about getting dressed. Like just let it be whatever it is or whatever and then just move on with my day. See? Problem solving skills because I would have just laid around in bed all day. But I just took the problem out of the equation completely. So I'm just going to throw something on real quick and then go on about my day. No lie, I was about to come out here and start complaining because I really don't want to be at work. But in my situation, like, I cannot do nothing but thank God because I come to work whenever I want. I do whatever I want at work. Like, I really just be living a life and I be making mad money. So it's like I can't even really complain too much because that will be selfish. And as hard as it is to balance, I do have two full-time jobs. So as hard as it is to balance that, at the end of the day, it's like I'm grateful. Because yesterday, I just paid all my bills. And I was in my account and I was like, damn, like I still got mad money to have fun. Do whatever I want. My hair is done. My nails is done. Like, I'm living life right now. So... I feel like I can't even really complain. 